NerdErotic.com. I guess female empowerment doesn't really matter if you step outside of the narrative like Scarlett Johansson did, but I want to applaud her for what she did. I am a bigger fan of hers today than yesterday because she called out Hollywood for political correctness, and this is long overdue from a big-name creative. And we need to hear more of this because I know more of them actually think this way, but they're afraid to say anything because of what's happening to Scarlett right now from the blue check marks on Twitter and what will happen to her over the next week in the Access Media. I'm looking forward to the Mary Sue article on how Scarlett is marginalizing people and stealing roles from people. All she said was she should be able to play whoever the hell she wants to play. Scarlett Johansson details her top roles and the political correctness she has faced when selecting parts. Now, I'm doing this video Tim Pool style, so I'm going to break some news for you. Scarlett Johansson has never been a superhero. She's never been Russian. She's never been a spy, but she plays a pretty good Black Widow in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Why? Because she's a trained actress. She pretends for a living and pretends stories about pretend people. She gets paid a lot of money to do it because she's earned it, and she should be able to play whoever the hell she wants because she has the talent, the name, and it doesn't hurt that she's attractive. But let's get to the incriminating paragraph. Let's cut to the chase on this one. You know, as an actor, I should be allowed to play any person or any tree or any animal because that is my job and the requirements of my job, Johannesson explained. I feel like it's a trend. You think they are applauding tokenism. Sanity is gone in my business and it and it needs to be happen for various social reasons. Well, I, you know, it needs to happen or doesn't need to happen. Would it happen naturally through meritocracy if we didn't have all of these provocateurs in the quote unquote access media? And if Hollywood wasn't bending their knee to blue check marks on Twitter, I think this stuff would just happen but they're actually preventing it from happening. And I'll get into that. Yet there are times it does get uncomfortable when it affects the art because I feel art should be free of restrictions. I have been saying that here since I started the channel. They are self-censoring themselves. Writers are, that is. And actors are not taking parts because of they're afraid of what they're going to get on Twitter. That's how insane this world is. You know what the most underrepresented thing in entertainment is? Sanity. She added, I think society would be more connected if we just allowed others to have their own feelings and not expect everyone to feel the way we do. And this constant obsession with having to see ourselves within a character, because I'm really looking for the 50 year old recovering alcoholic in Spider Man. But when it comes to the trans part, that uh, Scarlett Johansson turned down due to pressure on Twitter and from the access media. How, how, how did that move uh, things forward for the cause, for the cause of transgender people? Um, I can't believe I'm saying this out loud, but I, I guess we have to do this on Twitter sometimes. They wanted to hire Scarlett Johansson for that role as a trans male who uh, is some kind of crime lord in 1970s Pittsburgh because they wanted to make money. Yes, breaking more news. They wanted to put butts in theater seats. And if that happens, it could become a hit. And if the film does become a hit, Hollywood tends to look at that and try to make more films like that, which means there would have been more opportunities for trans people in film through Scarlett Johansson taking that role. Do you understand now? And I'm guessing they would have hired trans people within that movie. But let's see what happened to that film. Uh, I'm wondering if they, you know, cast somebody else. I wonder how it's going. Oh, well done. I, I'm sure that really helps the movement. Future of Rub Tug film in limbo after Scarlett Johansson's exit. Again, how does this help your movement when it's not being made? All it does is breed resentment within fandom when we see stuff like this. We get tired of people getting pressured and bullied. I hate to even use that term, but this is what this is. It's bullying Scarlett Johansson from an opportunity. And I know we're not supposed to feel sorry for, uh, all, you guys are really big on empathy, right? But apparently if you have too much money in your bank account, you are not deserving of it. You know, you're not a star forever. And she only has so many starring opportunities. And this was taken away from her from pressure on Twitter. Uh, what harm would this have done to the transgender community? Uh, it would have not done any harm. It would have helped, if anything. 
but you're too stupid to see that. So you deserve what you get. And yes, I get some enjoyment out of you guys uh, eating each other alive, but we need more people like Scarlett Johansson to speak the truth or nothing is going to change and entertainment is just going to die because it is in a bad way right now. And it's because of identity politics and because of the uh, franchise owners bending the knee to Twitter, blue check marks and bending the knee to the access media and getting themselves all twisted up like a pretzel. And really, even Scarlett Johansson is on your side, but that doesn't matter. Again, being a strong female doesn't matter if you step outside of the narrative. And of course, let's see what they're saying on Twitter about this. Uh, 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 in, uh, Laugh my ass off. Scarlett Johansson was asked about giving up that trans role and then immediately jumped to comparing playing different gender identities, ethnicities to animals and trees. Uh, okay, hun. Scarlett Johansson is a cisgender white woman with a powerful platform and no storage of work or no sh shortage, no storage of work opportunities. Trans people should play trans people, period. It is incredibly disappointing that she has learned nothing and clearly does not care about the experiences of trans people. And, and it's been pointed out in other places, you know, Tom Hanks isn't gay. Tom Hanks didn't have AIDS but he played a part in Philadelphia and it brought awareness to that issue. Now, should they not have made that movie or should they have gotten somebody with AIDS to play in that movie? Because according to your logic, that's what should happen. And according to your logic, Scarlett Johansson should be an actual superhero and she should actually be a robot to play a uh, ghost play in ghost in a shell. And uh, that same argument is for the little mermaid. She should actually be a mermaid. Now, I don't have an opinion on that because I have no emotional attachment to A Little Mermaid. I was an adult when that film came out, and uh, I have no desire to see musical animated films, uh, nor do I go to Disney films to go cry like some YouTubers. But this is what we're dealing with. There's no logic. There's no nuance in this. Uh, Charlotte here just wants to, and she's got, she's got a blue check mark. I don't know. I guess anybody can get them these days, but I have no idea who this person is. They must be some authority on it, but people identifying just on one thing, you know, I don't identify myself as a recovering alcoholic. I'm a human being who happens to be a recovering alcoholic. And using the logic of some of the NPCs and SJWs, every time I walk into your space, you should quit drinking. Uh, you should quit smoking pot or smoking cigarettes because it would offend me. Uh, and yeah, if I get offered a drink, it could uh, put my life in danger. So every, you know, actually bring back prohibition, make pot illegal again because it makes me uncomfortable. Uh, should I do that? Uh, no, because it's effing crazy. We cannot expect the world to adapt to us. We adapt to the world. And anybody should be able to do what they want in this quote unquote free society, but it's identity politics, it's censorship that's ruining entertainment. So good for ScarJo for speaking up. I hope you don't bend the knee. Uh, you already bent the knee once. And honestly, this is probably not going to be very good for your career. I hope it doesn't put the Black Widow film in jeopardy. You certainly deserved it before this. And you are the anti Brie Larson, so we definitely like you. And listen, she agrees with your politics again, but you guys eat each other alive. And honestly, that's probably a good thing because that will get us quicker to sanity. Everybody, have a great day. Like, share, and subscribe. And may the free folks sing songs of your greatness. Nerderotic.com, please subscribe.